now that the system is in, here's something else you might want to think about. Okay, remember they had some trim. It was just about like this. This is new trim, by the way, and it looks pretty much like the existing trim that was taken off. But look down here. Kaboom. Now the baseboard's short, isn't it? You see? See where the old existing trim casing was right from there? They scored it, and there's still a little bit of remnant there. And now this all has to be painted in and matched. And they're, they're going to come back, and they took a picture and a measurement of that baseboard. They're going to try to get some baseboard to match that so that they can fill that in. And they have the same issue over here. Not as much of a gap, but see, there's a little bit of a gap. And the, and the new trim did not cover the existing. We got the same thing up here at the top. You see up there at the top? Now what you could do, did you know that they have door casing that's actually wider than this? Yes, they do. So before, maybe if you're doing this yourself, before you get the casing, you might want to measure and decide where you're going to put this. Now they could have moved this over, but they didn't want to do that because they wanted it to land, land on this white trim that they put because then you would have had the anodized bronze right in here. We didn't want that either. Okay, so this looks really nice, by the way. And here's, here's the other thing that has to happen up here. Okay. This is designed to come out, like let's say your glass door breaks or something later on down the road. You've got to take this top trim off. Well, I'm getting a little bit of shadow here because the sun is just going down over there. So you just have to bear with me here. You can take this off later and pull this down. That's what it's designed to do. Now if you caulk that, so you could caulk this and then paint this. Paint this whole thing and caulk this as well. Then if your glass door happens to break down the road and you need to come, need to take it out, you're gonna to have to score this and then undo the screws, pull this down. I would do that though because, here, watch this. You paint this trim here, you paint this, you're always gonna have this black line up there and you might think, ah, now I got that black line. What am I gonna do with that? That looks kind of hokey. So I, I would recommend caulking that and as for the, as for the casing, if you, if you measure this later and you decide you want wider casing, go to the store, see what they have, because they might have something that's wider. Then maybe the only thing you'd have to do is cut your baseboard back just a little bit to line up for your new casing. Now see, there was a bigger gap over here because when they installed this, they slid it over a little bit one way or another. And that's okay. Okay, but now if you sign a contract with someone, if you wanted them to include everything, this they would have to come back and paint this, they'd have to patch that, they'd have to clean this up. And sometimes here you got spray texture knocked down here. Sometimes maybe you don't have that underneath the trim. Maybe you're gonna see a transition there or something. Okay, so make sure you figure out what you're signing, what is included, what is not included. Okay, there's a tip for you. Now here's another thing for you to realize. Here's the pre-primed trim. Now after the trim goes up, it's like, okay, was that included in your contract for the door company to install everything? You wanna make sure and check because if not, they'll put it on and say, oh, that's not included. You're gonna to have to caulk and paint it yourself. And now you've gotta get it the same kind of paint that you have for all of your other trim. Hopefully you got some in the garage because if you don't, you're gonna to have to match that up somehow. You're gonna to have to paint, okay? Don't sign a contract. If you're going to sign a contract with someone to install something, make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's to make sure everything's included. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.